I love, love comedy banks. So Donald, Ron DeSantis just dropped out of the Republican race. Who's Ron DeSantis? Your opponent in the Republican primary. Never heard of him. <laughs> You've never heard of one of your opponents in the primary. Goodness me. No, nope, I don't follow that shit. I would rather play golf with Ye or change Sleepy Joe's diaper than follow that crap. Of course, that makes total sense, Donald. Thanks. Hey, what happened to Vivek? Vivek Ramaswamy? I think he went back to his job at the 7-Eleven selling big gulps. So I am the only one left now. I hope the rest of those idiots have dropped out by now. There's just Nikki Haley besides you. Ah, not that stupid bitch. I can't believe they let women be part of the political process in this country. It's a total disgrace, believe me. It's unbelievable that you were too cowardly to get up on the debate stage, yet it made absolutely no difference. And you actually have a strong chance of becoming president again. I am gonna destroy that old fucking retard. They will have to make him eat a week's worth of fentanyl just to get him through a single debate with me. Did someone say fentanyl? No, Joe, go back to sleep. I'll wake you up in 20 hours. Chocolate, chocolate chip pardon. So have you considered what you will do when I beat you, Joe? You're a crippled sausage brain chimp. And when I win the election, I will sign an executive order to throw you in a retirement home for the rest of your pathetic life. He has a new job lined up. Oh, what's that? Well, Joe is obviously very good at sniffing things, especially people's hair and anuses. So he will be getting a job as airport security, replacing the sniffer dogs and looking for drugs in people's luggage and especially down people's knickers. Oh boy, oh boy, I can't wait to get sniffing Barack. I hope I find a lot of dirty, soiled knickers to sniff. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Yes, well, I think they will be able to arrange that for you, God willing. What a sick old man you are, Sleepy Joe. My God, you're a danger to every man, woman, and child in this city. It's true, it's true. Okay, that's enough now. Donald, let's not let this all descend into chaos again. What are we doing today? I thought we could visit a museum and take in some culture. Oh, shut up, Obama, you boring dork. If I want to look at some historical artifacts, then I would ask Joe's wife to send me some naked pictures. Jesus Christ, you're totally out of control. What are we doing then? I am not, and I repeat, I am not doing another assassination. We are going to assassinate Mark Zuckerberg. Hey, who's Mark Zuckerberg? He's the founder and the CEO of Facebook, Joe. What's Facebook? Never mind, you stupid cripple. We are just assassinating him, and that's all you need to know, all right? So be quiet, or I will make you swallow your pacifier. Sure thing, Donald. I'm down for that. No, no, wait a minute, guys. Murdering someone in cold blood and then disposing of the body. I'm a 62-year-old family man, and this is just far too much drama to take. We can't keep assassinating people. My God, what a hypocrite. I didn't hear you complaining when you assassinated 37 civilians at that wedding in Afghanistan back in 2008 with an airstrike. I wanted to give the bride and groom a day they would never forget with a large dose of American liberty. Bombing the shit out of them and ruining really? their big day was the only way I could have kept America safe at the time. You're a war criminal Obama. How you're not behind bars is a total mystery. The average American is in more danger of Joe getting his cock out at them than they are from a few brown-skinned people thousands of miles away. That's true, Donald. Hey, hey. God damn it, okay. So tell me why we need to assassinate Mark Zuckerberg. Okay, well, it's pretty simple. Facebook keeps suppressing right-wing conservative voices on the Facebook platform, so people like Ben Shapiro and Matt Walsh can't keep peddling my insane lies and shit without it being deleted from the platform. Donald Facebook is moderated to stop the spread of fake news and dangerous misinformation. They have a right to do that. They don't have a right. It's my freedom of speech. This is turning into a communist country like Canada and England. The First Amendment doesn't pertain to private companies, Donald. They can have terms of service, and there's nothing you can do about it. The First Amendment applies to protection from the state controlling your speech. All right, Obama, I didn't ask for your life story, OK? I don't care, to be honest. Now, we are whacking Mark Zuckerberg, all right? So stop being such a big baby and get ready. Chocolate, chocolate chip pardon. So what's the plan? My source at Facebook tells me that Zuckerberg will be getting a cab to a business meeting at 2 p.m. today, so I'm going to put a stop to that. Come on, boys, follow me. Hey, 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 pardon. I ain't got time for this shit. Yeah. Uh-huh. Excuse me, I need that cab, so get out, you lazy, dumb idiot, before I kick your ass. Ah, uh, no, go away and leave me alone. I don't think you heard me, punk. So why don't you fuck off back to whatever shithole country you are from before you lose your teeth? and I send Sleepy Joe around your kid's school with no clothes on. Oh my God, no, please just take it. What did we steal this cab for, Donald? This is the cab that Mark Zuckerberg booked to take him to his business meeting. So I am gonna pretend that I am his driver. Then we will take him somewhere discreet and kill him. 
Sounds like a great plan, Donald. Hey, hey. President Trump, what are you doing here? I'm your driver for today, Mark. What happened to my usual driver? Um, uh, well, that idiot died of AIDS, I'm afraid. Oh, that's terrible. I should send flowers to his widow. Yes, it is. That's what you get for injecting yourself with heroin from needles you find on the sidewalk, isn't it? <laughs> yes, I guess so. So, what are you doing driving a cab, President Trump? I would have thought this was beneath a successful businessman such as yourself. It's true, it's true. I do deal with a lot of scumbags and tourists who don't know how to tip properly unless I threaten them with violence. That's reasonable. Whatever, Zuckerberg. So I'm taking you to the Facebook offices today, right? Yes, please. And you already know Sleepy Joe and the, um, the black fella. I forget his name. Yes, I know Barack, of course. Who's Barack? That's my first name, Donald. Oh, right. I didn't know. What kind of stupid name is Barack? <laughs> so is this the guy we are assassinating today, Donald? What? Who are you assassinating? Oh, no one, Mark. Sleepy Joe is just a little confused, you I see. I think the 10 grams right of white powder he ate for breakfast is starting to wear off, is all. Oh, I see. <laughs> anyway, you wiry little nerd, how's life at Facebook? It's fantastic. In fact, today we will be discussing new ways to take the platform forward and keep up with modern social media trends. Sounds shit. Truth Social is way better than Facebook, and the great thing is you can be racist and we won't close your account. Can I sniff your hair, please, Mark? What? I said, can I sniff your hair, please, Mark? Your hair looks like a fucking wig. What's your problem? My wife cuts it for me. And no, you can't sniff my hair, President Biden. <laughs> Be quiet, you two idiots. It's like being around a couple of kids. I'm trying to focus on the road, believe me. Anyway, Mark, do you mind if I stop off and get something to eat quickly? I can't drive a cab on an empty stomach, or it is likely I will instigate some road rage and stove someone's head in. Actually, I'm kind of late already. Can we just drive straight there and you can get something to eat later? Well, all right then, you selfish monster. I will just have to sit here and suffer then. Jesus Christ, what a piece of shit you are. You better rate me five stars or there will be big trouble. Okay, everyone, just be quiet now, please. I gotta do something important. Um, President Trump, I don't think you should be using your cell phone when you are driving. It's dangerous. Shut up, I'm doing something important. My God, you really are a nerd, aren't you? You're not doing anything important. It looks like you are just looking at a picture of yourself dancing. Can't that wait till later? No, nope, not gonna happen. Read my lips, it is not gonna happen. All right, so get lost, you gutless pig. Chocolate, chocolate chip pardon. Hey, this isn't the Facebook offices. What are we doing here? Oh, um, we are out of fuel. Sorry about that. I'll have to send Sleepy Joe to the gas station to pick some up. Oh, God. My meeting at Facebook starts in 20 minutes. I'm gonna be late. How far is the closest gas station? I think it's about 10 miles away. This is ludicrous. What kind of cab driver sets off on his shift and doesn't even make sure he has enough gas to reach his destination? This is ridiculous. I'm gonna complain to your company. Oh no, I don't think so, Mark. Oh yeah, what are you going to do to stop me, old man? Do it, Donald, now. <laughs> Take that Zuckerberg, you sad little nerd. This is what you get when you try and censor insane right-wing conspiracies on your shitty little platform. My goodness, you sure showed him the business, Donald. That's right, Obama. Right, we better do the usual. Take the car, dump it in the lake with his body, and get out of here. And yes, Joe, you can sniff Mark's hair now. Just do it quickly so there are no witnesses. Oh boy, oh boy, let's get sniffing. Chocolate, chocolate chip, pardon. <laughs> right, thanks for watching, you low IQ individuals. Do us a favor, hit that like button, leave us a comment, and sub if you are new. Then click on one of the shit videos on screen right now for more garbage. It's true, it's true, pardon. <laughs>